I love the smoke a lot, never see me now. Up in the sky I go, call up everyone I know. And ask them who got it, let's roll up. 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 I love the smoke a lot, never see me now. Up in the sky I go, call up everyone I know. Welcome to another edition of Smokin' and Joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a special edition mm-hmm. because we have a boss in the yeah, building. And we got to call Rick Ross in town. Y'all have the opportunity to start what you're doing, and that's what we did. We yeah. start what we're doing. We want to <laughs> welcome the living legend yeah, right. himself, Freeway Rick Ross, oh, yes, to Smoking yeah. and Joking. Yeah, welcome, bro. Man, what's up? What's up? What's oh, up? Man. This is an honor, honor to man. have you here, man. Honor. I'm glad to be here, man. Thank y'all for having me on. Oh, man. Absolutely, man. I, like, I want to start by saying, you know, a lot of people don't get there accolades or they're just due until they're gone you know so i want to ask you because you're here and it's and to us and to a lot of people you are a living legend yeah. for real no not doubt. the no bs doubt. that you hear all the time yeah. like no doubt for no real doubt. living legend how does that feel i mean you know to 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 accomplish a goal that that i was after uh and that's to be where the streets love you. I mean, that's what it is, hey. man. I, I'm just enjoying it right now. You know, I got I got mad love from the streets all over the world, and uh, it's a good feeling. I, I I can imagine it is now. To there there's also two sides to that coin. I mean, I look at it like you're a living legend for the things that you did, but also some of the things that you did had a certain impact on our community. A negative so, impact. A negative impact uh-huh. on that community. So to be a living legend for something that actually had a negative impact on that community, th- does that haunt you at times? No, nah, no, nah, because I forgave myself, you know. Okay. Right. Okay. I asked for uh, 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 forgiveness, and, and uh, if you forgive me, you do. If you don't, you don't. I ain't tripping. Uh, but at the end of the day... Um, what I did, I did out of ignorance too. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't really know what I was doing okay. uh, when I was doing it. You know, I started selling drugs at 19 years old, and um, I didn't have a clue about drugs when I first started. Okay. You know, it was a learning process for me. And um, the way I look at life, you know, because a lot of people, you know, they want to blame me for their mom being hooked on drugs, their brothers, their uncles. But at the end of the day, if nobody put a gun. To your head. To your head and, and made you smoke it, then you did it voluntarily. It's a choice. You did it out, out of uh, your own choice. And and I believe that uh, for two grown, consensual adults to to make a deal, uh, whether one got the bad end of the deal or not, um, they both made a choice. Absolutely. And uh, um, I tell people that... Uh, Instead of looking for somebody to place the blame on, sometimes you have to go to your people and confront them and say, look, when are you going to stop? Right. Absolutely. Or why don't you stop? You know, because without without them uh, coming to their senses saying that they have a reason to stop, they won't quit. Gotcha. So, <clears throat> when, you know, when, when you came, when, when you started the game, I mean, it's my understanding that you knew it, th- for me, this is not about getting a flashy car. This is not about getting no shoes. This is about being rich. Right, right, right. Well, well it didn't start off like that. You know, when, when I started off, I wanted to make $5,000. Okay. And that was to uh, to fix my car. I had a 66 Chevy convertible, low rider, and I wanted to, you know, do a few things to it. You know, throw a little paint on it and finish my interior up and, 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 and ride out, you know, and live happily ever after. Uh, that was... That was where my uh, my dreams and my aspirations was. But as I got into the business and as you accumulate money, money buys wisdom. Right. You know, you start to learn more because uh, people, the higher echelons see you with money and they want that money. Yeah. So in order for them to get that money, they got to show you different ways so that they can get that money up out your right. pocket. Right. right. Well, well go ahead. I was gonna ask um, I really about what you said like earlier about him, um, just how he felt about being a legend of the hood, and then you know like, but but for something like negative or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But 
I understand, like, you did a lot of positive, though, with your money, right? Like, oh, no doubt. Yeah, no like, doubt. that's what no really, doubt. like, what makes you a legend because you go back and put I'm, back into your, uh, like, game. I mean, even in, the, even in the newspapers, you know, when they used to write the articles that was negative, I still felt okay about the articles because they always say, like, a Robin Hood. Right, you know? right. That's what... Uh, 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 yeah. And and that was the mission that I was after. Right. And uh, I, I wasn't after, you know, getting people strung out on cocaine right. and, and turning people into crack monsters and nothing yeah. like that there. That that wasn't my goal. Because when I started, I didn't even know anything about crack monsters, and mm-hmm. we had never yep. saw one. Mm-hmm. You know, it was only... It was just business. Right. right. And that's why I was saying, that's why I did what it... Well, that's because I know, like I said, I from the documentaries and stuff I've seen on you, they made a lot of emphasis on how you gave so much money back to the community or helped out kids or this stuff. Well, you got to give back. Like I mean, that, so. I mean, if, if, if what's the use of having money if you can't help the people that you, you love? love. And that, you know? But that's the, re, that's the stuff, though, that make you a legend. You no know doubt. What I'm saying? No Not doubt. just because you went out there and sold a whole bunch of dope because, you know, but I think mainly because you gave, people saw you giving back and trying to help other people, no too. Doubt. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You, you, you know, I, I, I agree with that. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, a lot of people didn't even know that side of the game. Right, back. Like I, the legend story, from, 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 you know, <laughs> came from. But I'm just streets. saying, like in the streets, in the street. well, well, when they no, did no, the market. The, the legend also came. The legend also comes from doing good because, right, 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 right. right. because if you don't do, it. if you don't do right, people won't talk about you in a positive light. Yeah. Right, and 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 uh, what what happened is. When the guys up top talk about you and it, it, it trickles down to the bottom and it's, it, it starts that goodwill, mm-hmm. you know, and, right. and, and, and people know the name and they like the name, but they don't really know the face, right. who, who that person is, but they know the name and, and, and the legacy. So I, I think that, 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 that what he was saying, having goodwill does mm-hmm. uh, carry a long way. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. I, I agree with him, but like what I'm saying is for most people, the legend started with the streets. Right, right, right. The the first leg- well, with the street, the, the, the street yeah, all yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The legend grows and people, you know, people start to feel that human side when they see you doing yeah. the things in the hood. Then it's and like he's right. one of us he's for there. real. Yeah. Like, like and, you said, and, the Robin Hood yeah. type. And right. see, they taking Robin them accounts the when they were doing that. They was taking accounts from people from the right. community. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like you said though, as far as us. We know him, and he legendary to us, cause damn, he got that work. Right, wow, that right, right. was a boss. You know what I'm saying? But then, like, when he taping him to go to the the community and people who grew up with him, and then talk about, it, then you get to know who he was as a person. You know what I'm saying? So like, okay, that's why I, they rock with him. I want to say this. You know, one of the things that just really blew me away was the fact that you know you was doing all these things, and you couldn't necessarily read. I couldn't read at all. At all, when, when you right when you was doing these things, you couldn't read at I was all. Totally, I was totally illiterate. But you, but you ran an organization that made three million dollars a day. Well, you know, in the drug business, it don't really, it don't really care if you can read or not. Right. You know, they don't put much writing on the package. Right. <laughs> right, right. I mean, I, I get that, but I mean, I, I'm saying that to say, like, because. That's that's a, that's 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 the equivalent of a Fortune 500 company or or bigger. You know what well, I mean? I, think, you, I think I could run a Fortune 500. Oh, company. it's no doubt. I'm man. Itching. My no end doubt. is itching for the opportunity. <laughs> hey, right, right, right. You, know right. What I'm saying? you already ran. Well, right. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, well, how can I put this? Like, with no it, formal training. With no right, with no right. formal yeah, training. I had no like, formal training. were they were there people around you? Because I'm sure people knew, you know, that you couldn't read, like. Your people that were close people, to you, not, many not people, even. No, they didn't really. I mean, you know, it's, and you know how it is in the hood. They don't want right. to know your last name. Yeah. Okay, you know, I what you. I need a last you. name for? Right. You know, I got you. We ain't, we, going, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't filling out no applications. You know. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, what was, what was the last grade you went to? What was the last grade you finished? I was in the twelfth grade, but I shouldn't have been there. You know, so just, my, just my tennis coach always figured out a way to keep me eligible, to keep me passing. So that I would be eligible to play on the tennis team. I was gonna ask you about that whole tennis thing. Like, like, was that something you you picked up when you got to LA, or was that something that you learned as a youngster in Texas? Like, where, where did the whole well, tennis I moved come from about? Texas when I was three. So, oh, so you was young. You so was I've real, been, I've been, I'm LA, like LA all day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Everything I know is LA. You know, okay. I don't even know. I mean, you take me to Texas, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> You know these the, the I Mexicans got that they talking about sending right. back to Mexico. Right. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just Mexico? just born there. Yeah, just born there. I got. Yeah, so, so the tennis was L.A. Like the but, tennis was but LA. your tennis teacher had something to do with. 
Well, he introduced me to the connect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you yeah. 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 One time for Titus coach. You, you done did your homework. <laughs> huh? I said you done yeah. did your homework. Yeah. I mean, I do a little bit. Yeah. 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 So, a little bit. so uh, that's how I got my connection. You know, one day uh, I had been gone for a while, and uh, I went by the scene, and he was like, where you been? I was like, man, you know, you know, I, I don't want to tell him I'm selling dope, you know, <laughs> but it's my man, you know. Okay. I can't lie to him either. So, you know, I, I finally told him, and he was like, man, come by the house. Let me show you something. So that was the day that he exposed his hand and let me know that he had been uh, selling cocaine before too. So, and he uh, actually introduced you to the connect. Not the main one, but he introduced me to one, and I jumped. And right. that's you, right. know, that you know, I learned how to yeah, right. I learned how to jump from one to the other. You know, and from him to the next one, and then to his cousin. And, <laughs> right, right, right. So, <laughs> so Ross, let me ask you something. Did you? you know, I played. I played. I, I played hardball. <laughs> <laughs> it was said that like, did you? Um, I want to ask you right quick. Did you have? I know. I heard something about they had the uh, like you so be at the government or something you working with or they would. You oh, the CIA. They yeah, like, was, they was working for the, the the Nicaraguans was working for the CIA. They was uh they were CIA operatives. Okay. You know they had a war going on in Nicaragua. Yeah. And they lost the war. Mm -hmm. And the Sandinistas won, and the Sandinistas was backed by Russia. You know, kind of like North Korea right now. Mm -hmm. You know. So the U.S. had to fund the Nicaraguans. Right. So they yeah, had they to get that, they so, that money. So now the yeah. Russians is backing the Sandinistas, and China backing the Sandinistas. Uh, now the Contras is being backed by the U.S. Right. Congress say cut off the the funding, yes. so they cut off the funding, so they took money from Iran, the guns they sold to Iran, right. and diverted that money because they need money that couldn't be traced. So they diverted that money back to the Contras. The Contras said, "Y'all only gave us 18 million. Russia gave their people 100 million. We gonna have to flip this." It's dope, man. Right. So they took the 18 million and flipped it in, in right. the cocaine. You know, I, I always America, America wanted to way. know. I always wanted to know was it more so, you know, the, the was, was it more so the government was providing the dope, or was it they were just turning a blind eye to it and receiving the funds for it? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if they received the funds. Uh, uh, the way this scenario went is that uh, when when the Contras got kicked out of uh, uh, Nicaragua, they moved them into the U.S. because the Sandinistas was going to kill them. So while they was over here, they started selling drugs. These are the CIA operatives, meaning that they part of the CIA right. Army. Mm -hmm. They can't be actual agents because they don't have citizenship. Okay. So they can only be operatives. Uh and these operatives start selling drugs. Hmm. Now, what we do know is that the CIA knew. Right. Well, Turn right. the blind eye. The CIA yeah. admitted that they knew they were yeah. selling drugs. Yeah. Uh, they had filed a letter to the attorney general because it's illegal for a federal agent to know if somebody committing a crime and not to and report not, it. Not right. 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 So they had to file a letter to the attorney general saying, look, we know this law is in place, but we need that law recanted so that we don't have to report these guys uh, people. Uh, selling cocaine. I, I want to ask. So you mm. have to be the judge on. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. I, I, to me, it, to me, it sounds like, and I always thought they just turn a blind eye. Oh, no, I don't think, like, I we thought, know this shit happening. We gonna. Yeah, I thought we was one of the biggest but purchasers. I, I wanted to say this, like, when you first made your first million dollars. What well, first I want to know, how long had you been in the game? When you first made your first million, um, I don't even know, man. I I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't really keeping up with it. I just uh, was just stacking in the closet, you know, just stacking it in the closet, man. Right. Just not spending nothing, stacking everything, putting everything back into the game. Uh, so I imagine twenty three, twenty four. I had a million dollars. And you had been in the game since 19? Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, probably about five years, three years, something like that there. But, you know, you know, like when you're in the game, uh, 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 you, 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 you spend a lot of money. Yeah. Right. As well as... Uh, Lifestyle. Uh, 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 stacking it, you know. Feeding all the fellas and, you know, buying cars and clothes and, and just, you know, the basic uh, 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 things that 
uh, go along with being in the game and living. Yeah, yeah you know what? Because I was I was wondering to myself, okay, now if if if, if he's making three million dollars, you know, out of that three million, like I know you have expenses, I know you have security, you know, all type of expenses out of that. So if your organ if if an organization like that is seeing three million dollars, what what percentage or like how much of that after expenses? I probably would pack it. From two hundred to three hundred thousand out of every million, okay, on a daily basis. Okay, so that's that's profit two hundred three hundred thousand out of yes. every million. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I was making at least I, I was making at least two right like two now. two two thousand off of each. And that was low sometimes. Most of the times it was more than that. Most mo- most of the time I would be making like three to five thousand off of each key that I that I dealt with. Uh, so you know if you if you buy. Uh, 300 keys, you know. At one time I was getting them for 10. One time I was paying 35 for a key. So it, it varies from time to time with what the price was, gotcha. uh, uh, who I sold it to, mm-hmm. you know, and all that. All that varied uh, greatly. In, in, in the, um, in, I guess not, not, not even necessarily in the height of it, but was there a point where you saw it's about to come to an end? Like, I'm going to switch it up or I'm just going to do it to the world. I was always trying to switch up, you know. I was always creating businesses, uh, uh, trying to find a way out of the game, you know. Uh, I basically based, based my uh, my career off of Superfly. You ever saw the movie Superfly? Right, yes, right. Sir. Well, I based my career off of uh, Priest, you know. My goal was to get out of the game, you know, uh, 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 alive. And uh, I based my life, I based it off, off of that uh, 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 movie. You um, know, when I hear you say that, though, like, and 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 I look at the the situation as a whole, like, it, it, I look at it like, and I could be wrong, but I look at it like you had several opportunities to get out. Like you own several businesses, like you said, you own junkyards, you own hotels. But it wasn't was profitable music, though. It wasn't pro- okay. okay. See, I had people in it that you know. I mean, I'm young, you know, 24, 25 years old. I ain't okay. never had a business before. Right. So, you know, you get a business, the first thing you think, oh, put moms in there, put bro in there, put right. cuz in there, right. put uncle in there. Right. And they don't know nothing about business. Okay. And they don't have a desire to have a business. You know, the first thing that I find out that you got to have is a desire. Absolutely. Without the desire to have something, you can't Absolutely. have it. Absolutely. Just like if you don't have a desire to quit, you can't quit. You're going to just keep, go, keep going. You're going to keep going. Why, why should you quit? When you don't have a desire to quit, there's right. no reason for you to quit. You you enjoying what you're doing, you know. So uh, 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 I say that uh, uh, you have to have that desire. So if you so you had certain business, w- were, were any of the businesses on the profitable side? Where you know? Well, you know, when I first opened my motel, I ran it myself. You okay. know, I was making five thousand dollars a week. Okay.